Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew Online. Today I want to talk about a couple items I purchased. And one here is an open frame test bench right here. It's an acrylic stand test bench. Uh, I picked up to, you know, see if I would use it. I put a few computers together recently and I said, you know what, I should get me one of these. And so I did. I picked this one up from Amazon and I also picked up this um, computer power switch button. It's an external switch button to work with my, uh, to turn the motherboard on and off when it's on this thing right here. So anyhow, uh, the question is, is do I need that or does anybody need it, right? And uh, I'll go through that here, but I'm going to cover the item, uh, the two items here, go over what, you know, the product says on Amazon where I purchased it, show you some of the things I did, you know, uh, footage of me putting it together and then eventually finish with you showing it on the stand and everything. And you can tell me your thoughts down in the comment section. So, but normally when I put together a motherboard, uh, putting the fan on, the memory in it and all that stuff. I just used the box it came in, right? Just put it on top. So I thought since I've been doing so much, I'd get one of these stands and uh, try it out. And I didn't want to spend a whole lot, so I picked up a uh, pretty budgety one, uh, budget-wise, uh, cost-wise that is. So this is the PC Open Frame Test Bench um, by Electric Magic. It's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for this one if you're if you're uh, if you if you think you'd like it. It's $22.89, and uh, they say it does AT, uh, ITX, ATX, Mini ITX, MATX, EATX, motherboard. It's transparent, acrylic, uh, overlock, computer case, do-it-yourself, mod base stand is what they have. So there you go. That's kind of the, that's what comes with it. It's basically the acrylic base there and some, you know, standoffs and um, stanchions for your PCI Express slots. And there's uh, another couple examples of a board on it. So there you go. All right. And then the switch here, this is the, uh, it's DKE, Desktop Computer Power Switch. Um, yeah, it has a two meter uh, cable. It's an external PC power button, uh, ATX desktop, computer case, motherboard switch on off, power switch cables and it's black they also have it in white uh down here also the white is 11.99 the black is 10.99 so i bought the black one uh it does light up so if you can see there it does have illumination and uh yeah it just has it so i guess you can the idea is that you can put it wherever you want turn on your computer so uh it is magnetic and uh does come with two magnetic bases so it you know it's pretty neat uh yeah, it's it's uh it does have a it's a little clicker kind of like the old style keyboards. There you go, and you can split it so you can have it tied into your computer directly, or you can split between your computer case's power uh, button and this button and put it somewhere uh, remotely. Not sure why, but yeah, there's somebody who put uh, something on top of it to I don't know start up their computer. So. But uh, either way, it's pretty neat, um, and I'll tell you honestly, I think it's really cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it worked, and uh, it's pretty neat. So there we go. That's the open frame uh, test board, and there's the button I picked up. All right, let me get back over here. So anyhow, um, you can see here is the board in the background here, and I'll bring it up close and show it to you. Uh, but let me let me show you some, some stuff about putting this... Uh, this acrylic case together uh, or this acrylic um, uh, frame test bench together so give me just so the you know it comes in a box you get the acrylic base and you can see me here putting it together uh, get all the parts out uh, first thing you have to do is you have to take the film off of both sides of the acrylic and I tell you what that is not easy that is not easy um, you know to get it started so best thing to do would be take some type of knife like an exacto knife or something and <laughs> and go slow so you don't tear it uh, and if once you start getting once it starts tearing in, in different directions you're, you're kind of you're kind of done so it took me forever to get one side off because it just was tearing all over the place but I finally did and uh, there it is so now the second side I went really slow and I tried to get it all off at once and I was for the most part successful there so there it is alright and then I, I followed up with a little celebration here 
All right. <laughs> Next thing you have to do is you have to attach all of the standoffs, and that is just it's just a very time consuming process. The standoffs, uh, if you don't have a screwdriver and some type of sock that goes over it, it makes it very difficult to get them tight. So as you can see there, I have a screwdriver and a socket. And, uh, and like I said, I got them all really tight. And uh, I will tell you this, make sure you pay attention to the instructions too, so that you put the standoff part on the right side of the acrylic sheet. Because if you don't, you will end up taking all of that off and flipping it over and doing it all over again. So, yep. But as you can see, there's the PCI Express card slots and the last one, and it is done. All right, so there you go. You kind of saw the putting it together part of it. So let me go ahead and grab it here, and I'll show you, and I'll kind of get it close to the camera. And you can tell me what you think. So here's the, here's the acrylic stand here and as you can see the motherboard fits into it nice i only have i think two screws left in it to hold it on here um because i'm getting ready to take it off and put it in the case but you can see there's the button and it does have a magnetic disc underneath it that i'm using to hold it and you can hear it clicky click so it is really neat so anyhow that's the acrylic stand so let me know you know do i need one i don't know after using it and testing out that thing and putting it together on the bench i don't think i do but you know if i was doing a lot of computer a lot a lot of computer stuff or i had a motherboard i was maybe troubleshooting sure maybe but um you know like i said most of the time i just put the motherboard together on its box and then throw it in the case and start going um, so, and, and normally I'm not moving between motherboards uh, or, or, or projects when it comes to home computing stuff. So I don't know if I, I don't know if I really need it. That's why I went kind of with a, uh, a budget version, which, you know, right at 22, whatever it was, $22 and some change there. So, but I do like the button. I might be able to find another use for the button, but, uh, ugh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure I'm going to use this again. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to hang on to it, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you do you all use um, open frame test benches? You know, if do you, if you do, let me know. Let me know why you use them. Let me, let me know uh, you know what what you think the benefits are. So, all right. Anyhow, that's really all I have for this uh, video. I just wanted to go through these two objects and, and kind of show you. Like I said, I picked them up, thinking maybe it'd be a neat uh, thing to have, but I'm not so sure anymore. All right. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to check out some of the other videos on the channel. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below or wherever it is on your screen. And y'all have a good day.